What's up, Sushi Squad? We back in some more troll do -do -do. and today we're gonna be talking about the candy barb. Yes, that's right. I've swapped all of my physical gems over to my candy barb, uh, and we're going to end up doing a real life example of just how powerful this character can end up being. Uh, I do have him at 36 KPR. Let me get my timer ready because what we're going to end up essentially doing uh, is spending five minutes in Geode Surface to see the capability of this class versus other characters in this 35K series. Uh, and then we're going to end up going into a deep delve. Now, I do want to show that I don't have ideal like completely maxed out gear I'm actually using a shadow hunter signatory ring uh, or crystal ring just because it's you know I don't have a c3 or higher ring of candy bar specifically uh, I got a c4 face c3 melee weapon because I don't got a c4 version and a C4 hat uh, all of my gear has attack speed and movement speed uh, which ideally is more for geode surface farming uh but in the unlikely event you know or likely event whatever if we end up doing too little damage in the delves essentially what you would do with this class is you would just swap the movement speed out for crit damage instead um we're going to be using martial death defying and trailblazing for now i'll probably swap trailblazing out for cubic so that we have some more defense when we're in the delves uh, and then i'm using the animated jug as my ally just because it gives us the extra movement speed now the other thing too to keep in mind is that while all of my gems are maxed out my class gem is not it's actually not even a perfect gem because uh, I do have this at level 25 and you can see it's only got two pearls which ideally it would end up having three pearls but you can see even on top of that I haven't actually augmented any of these stats so just letting you guys know okay it's not I honestly don't think it's going to end up being that big of a deal our damage numbers are going to end up being considerably lower than other characters that would be completely maxed out but we are still sitting on 36k so we should still be very capable not to mention that this version of the candy barb uh, is actually from the shadow hunter update so for those of you that are on console and you're wondering when the shadow hunter update is coming to you guys nobody knows nobody has any idea but when it does a lot of the classes ended up getting a rework and candy barb and it was one of them and ended up getting in my opinion the biggest changes just because it was like a nice subtle like what the heck why why is candy barb actually strong now right so uh i'm gonna be using knight subclass ability to give me the movement speed because you can see my movement speed is at 111 base uh and then when i end up using the mount with knight subclass i got 125 movement speed so Hopefully this will end up going well. I hope that this Neon Ninja isn't trying to follow me because I like doing this. Uh, I like giving you guys examples of me just on my own rather than, you know, having other people end up doing damage. But anyways, let's start the timer and let's get to it. First of all, just on a normal enemy, you can see our normal base attacks are doing 29 mil, which is actually insane. Let me get my bombs on my hotbar as well because I need that. Uh, the thing too, oh my God, of course it's going to lag like a beast while I'm doing this. Uh, but the other thing that's so crazy about the candy barb rework jesus is that because we're so powerful uh you can see that we can handle pretty much anything in geode surface like candy barb just does such sheer amounts of damage now it's insane but on top of all of that candy barb has always been a very good lord Candy Bar's always been very capable in terms of its move set, right? Like we're not necessarily going to be turning any heads uh, in turn uh, in terms of being a speed farming character, you know, like it's not like we're covering our distance between dungeons very well or very efficiently because the movement speed on the class is still pretty bad. Generally speaking though, if you're using Jesus Sorry guys, it's gotta be a realistic comparison. I'm not gonna wait 50 hours for the game to stop lagging. Oh wait, it will always lag. Um, but anyways, what I was going to say is that if you want to just focus on using the character as a speed farmer, frankly speaking, you probably don't want to get the class gem. The class gem is nice because it's kind of a quick, easy way that you can end up getting a powerful gem uh, rather than just taking your luck within power gem boxes but the fact remains that if you're speed farming your number one okay if you're speed farming your number one ability is actually going to end up being better without the class gem 
because you would be able to just like right here, I could use it and I would leap forward and it can end up giving you really, really good uh, movement. Now that said, you do gotta be careful with the Candy Bard's abilities uh, because Trove in its infinite wisdom doesn't actually have a limit on the distance that you can travel with that ability before it deactivates. So if I go like way up into the sky right here and then I jump forward with it, you'll see I have to wait until you see the finished animation although of course the game is lagging like crazy so it's difficult to show it uh you know properly um but you have to wait for that animation to finish before you can regain control over the character again which is kind of annoying and does end up happening with the forward leap as well you kind of have to wait for the momentum um but the thing that's kind of nice about it is if you end up timing it properly, th this is a trick that myself and a lot of people just naturally do when we're playing this game is uh, you'll notice that a lot of times I'm always jumping into the air. And that's because if you end up having a ranged enemy tag you, if this guy would ever end up aggroing me. So if I have him tag me while I'm jumping, I'll actually keep the momentum from him hitting me in the butt. And that will end up, uh, you know, continuing also if you end up using the leap so you could end up using the leap uh, of course i'm talking about the leap without the classroom ability because the classroom ability makes you basically go up and then straight down whereas without the class gem it's the same jump animation but you have forward momentum so you can kind of use that to your advantage to uh, not only jump forward but if you end up having an enemy uh, tag you with a, a range attack at the same time, you can use it to your advantage to end up covering a lot of distance. It's, it's tricky to do and it's not necessarily like required or anything, but hey, whatever. Um, you'll see that our number one ability does do a lot of damage, but you never want to use that in a dungeon. Uh, I mean, right now, of course, it's a laggy mess, but the reason you never want to do it is just because the amount of time that it takes to finish the jump animation you're going to deal more damage within that same amount of time by just doing your base attack. Now, I could be doing my spin attack, I could be using my ultimate, uh, and I would end up actually clearing these dungeons a little bit faster just because those attacks end up dealing such sheer amounts of damage, as I'll demonstrate right here with my ult. So, well his damage numbers were inside the wall but anyways uh the point is that it is there as uh, as an ability even though our right click seemed to actually deal more damage which is kind of weird uh the thing too is i could very easily swap out martial emblem just because i don't necessarily need it for uh speed farming uh, just because i'm dealing such large amounts of damage on this character anyways but uh this will end up being our last dungeon and then we'll end up hopping into the delves um, the class gem, or not class gem, the hidden effect on the ring can end up being really, really helpful too. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the best hidden effect that you can get on a crystal ring is the one where it lets you spam your right click uh, without any cooldown or it like drains less mana or something like that. It, basically, it's spin to win, right? But anyways, let me get a delve set up and we'll see how this plays out. So for the sake of remaining consistent within this 35k series, we've actually been using depth 129 as the example. So you can refer to my other uh, 35k series videos of, you know, Shadowhunter 36 KPR. I mean, I'm calling it the 35k series because not all of my classes reach 36k, but the fact still remains that I, I you know, I still call it a 35k series, but anyways i have a playlist link in the description uh, and the point is that we want to end up seeing realistic examples of okay how are these characters going to end up faring and uh, yeah i wasn't really expecting candy barb to deal uh, insane amounts of damage as you can see i mean these enemies i think actually have physical resistance so we got pretty bad luck with that regard we'll see how much damage we end up doing on the other enemies though but uh, you know, the fact is that we do actually have a lot of life steal uh, because I'm actually using the vampiric gem, uh, the vampiric cosmic gem, but it's not really working out, probably because I should be using cubic curtain or not cubic curtain. I mean, cubic curtain would be nice as well, but I'm going to actually try to swap out my. Uh, uh, swap this out. God, this game is just such a laggy mess. It's actually ridiculous. I think I'm still standing. Yep. Yep. I was still standing by those enemies. This loading screen should be added to the vanilla game. It shouldn't be considered a mod. 
because it is just so appropriate. Oh, cool. And then I came back and I have zero flasks. I'm going to chalk that up to just how it ended up generating. And we're going to end up trying it again. So let's see with these enemies that actually see these guys got magic resistance, not physical resistance. So it makes it like considerably more damage on these enemies. So, so long as we end up getting lucky enough in that regard uh, and getting the right enemies to generate and the right, you know, everything working out the way that it should, which obviously you can't really account for that. But the fact still remains that now we're doing fine. And then here's some more enemies that have the physical resistance. Uh, so we'll actually see how many of these guys we can end up skipping past, come to think of it, just because I don't really want to end up dealing with them. Okay, there we go. God, it is just such a laggy mess today. I can't believe it. <laughs> like, what is going on with this video game, dude? Oh my lord. But anyways, we see that we have enough damage to destroy these enemies, which is the crazy thing. Especially if I ended up having the hidden effect on our ring, then that would end up making all the difference, frankly speaking. Um, but yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm pretty surprised about this. We seem to be doing just fine. Uh, in terms of our damage anyways, our survivability is okay, but once again, I'm using uh, the Vampirium Cosmic Gem, so that just gives you a lot more survivability. Ideally, if you want more damage, you would end up using a Berserker, um, uh, a Berserker Gem, but uh, in this case, I would say that survivability is actually really important in the Delves, and I'm not necessarily saying that you should take Vampirium over Berserk. If you're playing with other people, uh, you know, obviously they can carry the slack uh or you could end up staying well no you can't stay at a distance because barb is a physical character so you got to get up close and personal so i would personally recommend using the vampirium uh, cosmic gem rather than berserk just because you're not going to end up dealing enough damage to these enemies frankly speaking oh actually our objective is done so now we gotta just get through here nice and quick let me see if i end up getting the movement speed there we go Give myself that movement speed as well and i mean we've got pretty good speed in here which is pretty nice but generally speaking is candy barb a character that i would recommend in the delves i mean it's one of those classes where you can use it in the delves like the thing that i love so much about this particular update with the shadow hunter and how it reworked a lot of the classes and stuff uh is just the fact that so many classes became viable uh, for everything like just as a main character you don't have to use like uh, my point is that other characters will still end up shining more in the delves than the candy barb does yes true but if you absolutely only have gems for the candy barb if you only want to main the candy barb that is perfectly viable now and that's kind of the cool thing is that you no longer are forced to switch off of your main or build up two sets of gems for a lot of the areas in the game except obviously certain characters excuse me why are credits even shown when i open the oh because down here but anyways you guys understand the point that i'm going for so anyways let's try and deal with this guy right here so let me get my oh my lord yep we got pretty decent damage actually I mean, I should be spending all of my uh, all of my moves. I could also, instead of using uh, unyielding, I don't know why I kept calling it cubic. If I was swapping out unyielding for chromatic or something, or even using chromatic ally in here, that would probably end up being better, just because then I would be able to use my alt more, uh, which generally speaking would end up doing a lot more damage to this guy. You can see though that vampirium. Uh, or whatever the vampire cosmic gem is really making some big strides and keeping me alive and that's very very important as mentioned before we're not dealing as much damage as other characters would end up doing and this is why once again i would say that uh you know using another character instead of the candy barb would end up yielding better results for the delves but the fact still remains that you can main this character for the delves if you want to and that's really really cool Oh my lord, this is just taking so long. Good god. I think I'll still be able to beat him in time, right? Yeah. I, I really should have swapped out for the Chromatic Emblem. I think it would have made all the difference just because it would optimize our damage. Also, as I mentioned previously in the video, uh, if you would want to have more damage, you would actually end up swapping out your movement speed for crit damage. And that, I feel, would really start to pick up that little slack that is going on with my candy barb right now. Also, again, a quick reminder that my class gem is not ideal and I'm not rocking 
uh, the hidden gem eff- or, or hidden crystal ring effect uh, for the candy barb specifically, just because you know I, I don't full on like main the candy barb by any means. Uh, it's just that I have a really good set of physical gems that I can swap at my leisure uh, to end up presenting videos like this for you guys. And either way, that's gonna do it. So hopefully, this ended up being a helpful video in your decision of whether you want to main the character uh, or those of you on consoles that are still waiting for the update to get excited. Smash like, sub for more, buy the merch you want, support the channel. And have a wonderful day, ladies and gentlemen.